My name is Braden LaBelle. I was raised in a Christian household that was very involved and participated in activities and roles within the church. We were at church at least three times a week and that didn't include going twice on Sundays. As I grew older, I became more caught up in doing activities and being with friends that hearing the same Bible verses and stories for many years prior became secondary to me. I wasn't growing, or should I say I chose not to grow spiritually anymore, but I knew how a Christian should act, and so I just acted out the part. This facade lasted for many years to come. It is during this time, though, of where I met Beth Ann at the age of 15, and we started to date. As life does, it adds more pressures, challenges, and struggles. Marriage, raising kids, and career choices are probably the three biggest. A job loss for me with a wife not working and two kids to support was probably the thing that pushed me to a breaking point or rock bottom. Whatever small amount of relationship or trust that I had with or in God and praying and reading his word pushed me away completely. For years to come, I would be angry and bitter towards God for putting me and my family in such a tough situation. My heart being hardened more and more. This lack of relationship with God affected not just me, but our marriage and household. Depression and anger increased drastically in my life. Our marriage was hanging by a thread. We acted more as roommates than a married couple, and this situation stayed in effect a long time to come. Eventually, Beth Ann's prayers for me and small encouraging words started to get through to me to do daily devotions again. Reading those words that I haven't seen in so long had slowly and unknowingly started to change my life again to where my focus is not on my problems, my emotions, and my fears, but on Christ, who is there to take me through my problems, my emotions, and my fears. That one big event in my life brought me to rock bottom spiritually, physically, and mentally. I needed to be broken. God, many years before, when I was a teenager, put Beth Ann in my life knowing the journey that I would take and how she would be strong and loving enough to stick with me and help me through it. I'm so thankful that God has put her in my life. Without her, I wouldn't have tried or probably even wanted to come back from where I was. God has slowly softened and continues to break that wall that is around my heart, drawing me closer to the peace and comfort that he promises to give.